So I'm recording with my webcam right now and I need to know, 720p versus 1080p, does it matter to you? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm running the street. And this is our second video in our Linux desktop environments series. Last time I made a video for this, it was the GNOME 3 video, and that went a little over time. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in to KDE. All right, guys, so here we are. As you can see, same setup as last time and same lag as last time. Sorry about that. As always, um, we're running in VirtualBox here, and we are also screen recording and audio recording at the same time, all on the same machine. So while this is a very capable computer, uh, yeah, Kubuntu here is running at about, like... I don't know, 10% of its normal speed. So yeah, when you first start up um, KDE, we're using Kubuntu here, because like I said, Ubuntu is generally easy to install and just a good testing distribution. When you first start up a computer with KDE, um, just with KDE desktop environment, everything, then this is what you will see, the KDE login screen. So we will type in our password and we will log in. Um, so yeah, please keep in mind that it is going to normally be way faster than this. Still logging in, so, um, yeah, here we are. And I hope our sound is on. Guess it's not. There is a sort of little, little sound thing that normally plays when you start up a computer with, with, uh, KDE. Not sure why it's not playing right now. Must have something to do with VirtualBox, but yeah, as you can see, we are here in KDE, and this is the default KDE desktop. So as you can see, first of all, the KDE desktop is very much based around widgets. Um, by default, desktop icons don't actually show up on the desktop itself, and wow, that mouse is really lagging behind what I'm doing. But yeah, as you can see, this folder is empty here. This is a widget called Folder View. And basically what this does is anything in your desktop folder, it displays it not on the desktop itself, but within this widget. So yeah, if you go up to desktop here, yeah, if you, um, th this might be like on the side or anywhere, this little desktop button. And if you click that, you'll get this menu. And you can add a panel, which will basically be like adding a taskbar like the one at the bottom we'll get to in a moment. Um, and you can also do add widgets. So if I can just get my mouse, uh, go, no, no stupid add widgets okay please work there we go so that's what happens when you uh, click add widgets this little widget thing comes up at the bottom here and yeah this is just for if you've never used KDE before you're probably going to want to add a few widgets um, at least if your computer can handle them so you know they're generally simple things like if you're on a laptop battery monitor just drag it out and you'll see there you don't have to drag it to a side that was an accident Bouncy ball is a fun one, um, just gives you a little bouncy ball you can throw all over your desktop, but I'm not going to try and do that in VirtualBox, because this is already lagging badly enough. So, 99% of people who watch this video will understand that this is not full speed, but, you know, that 1% that doesn't, I'm terribly sorry for ruining your, your image of Linux here. But yeah, like I said, normally way faster. Um, at the bottom right here, you have notific- oh, nope not notifications, just another sort of desktop panel. KDE is very much redundant with its controls because KDE is very control based. I'll get to the control center in a minute. You've got a clock here and this is not this is not called a taskbar but it's called a panel I believe. Um, so yeah, clock, if you click that you get your your calendar, whatever avocation you're using there. This is notifications. And this little circle here, if you're copying files or something, you'll see a circular progress bar there. And if you click, you can see different notifications there. And you can add buttons and remove buttons from the panel whenever you want, by the way. Uh, see, this is a network management widget, technically, on the panel. Um, this little network management thing here. And you've got volume um, clipboard. And it's nice that we've got some advanced clipboard controls. Um, software updates, you know, just things on there. This is show the desktop, so that will minimize everything and show the desktop, obviously, if you click it. What's the activities menu? Oh, that's the activities. All right, activities menu in KDE is not like the activities menu in GNOME. You don't need to worry about that. Here, the uh, K button over here, or your distribution might have customized this, is basically your start button for KDE. Um, you'll get a something that looks very reminiscent to a start menu. So yeah, you've got 
By default, KDE. Oh my god, this is lagging. I, my mouse is at the bottom of the screen. There we go. So, as you can see, KDE comes with a set of very not very standard applications. You know, GNOME comes with, like, Firefox. KDE comes with something called Reconk, which is Conqueror, is what it used to be called. Um, so basically, people who make KDE make a bunch of their own programs just to bundle up with it. Uh, which GNOME used to do. They, they GNOME actually did used to do the same thing, they just don't do it anymore. So you've got Contact, is basically like Outlook, um, but KDE makes it. System settings we'll get to in a minute. Uh, GNOME by default uses uh, Nautilus for its de uh, its uh, file manager. KDE uses Dolphin, and I, I enjoy using Dolphin. Dolphin is kind of like Mac. Uh, it only takes one click to get into a folder, so I just clicked Documents once, I did not double click. And we've got, you know, Cookie Trail up here, and we can just click Home. And normally it would have be moving way faster than this, like I said. Um, so yeah, um, sort of more, it's, yeah, I've got more options and stuff than um, Nautilus does. you got these little pluses at the top left of folders and icons and anything, really. And if you click on multiple pluses, um, then it selects multiple things, as you can see. So now it says two items selected three items selected and then you can click the minus to unselect things so if you're selecting many things at once you know you can drag those into here and oh I missed it because the mouse is moving slowly I promise I am this is not um, it normally goes way faster than this so as you can see over here default places we do have some handy places such as root and trash um, and this is basically the only way to get to the trash can in KDE, um, is that trash icon there. My mouse is at the left side of the screen right now. Um, okay, I have, yeah, the... There we go, alright. So, yeah, like I said, computer, yeah, yeah. All right, what is taking up all of our resources right now? Let's see our activities monitor here. Oh my goodness, I'm moving things within the window. Yeah, see the problem is that QuickTime Player, which is recording everything, is using 360% of my processor. As you can see right there, um, that would be the problem, that we are using 370% of the processor's capacity. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here we go. We're already to 10 minutes, so we're already past what I was aiming for. Um, so that's that's uh, that's Dolphin right there. Um, so yeah, like I said, favorites. Um, those are your favorites. You can pin things here that you use often, so that's like your frequently used apps. Uh, and you can, yeah, like I said, pin stuff there. Uh, it does not put things there automatically. Computer, all right, trying to, I'm just going to show you whatever we get to. Computer is location, so if you have a disk, it'll be in there. Um, and yeah, just like home and root and stuff. Um, so yeah, programs we've got multiple, like a bunch of categories. The search function works flawlessly um, if you don't know what category something's in, but yeah, you can just browse through categories like that. And the only way to really go back is the cookie, or the, yeah, cookie crumb, the trail up there, because if you switch um, things, then this, the task menu sort of acts like a program. So if you close it, you close it and reopen it oh oh no all right well you can do that recently used for recently used things obviously and we're going to leave now because this is going way too slowly for me to show you anything so yeah like I said another very simple video about a pretty simple concept just showing you how to use that but yeah there you go hopefully that was helpful to somebody out there um, how to use KDE um, or at least that's if you haven't seen KDE before, that's the gist of it. As you can see, mouse is moving way quicker now because we're at a virtual box. Sorry that that was so slow and buggy, but yeah, um, like I said, that was KDE, you know, just start menu, pretty basic thing. Hopefully that was helpful to someone. So I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm there on the street, and I will see you later. See ya.